you guys. Today we are feeling very surprised and fortunate. Actually, yesterday we were feeling very surprised and fortunate. Inside this box, obviously, is a Reborn. This doll I bought back in November, and it was shipped from Russia, like, right around Thanksgiving, the 26th of November. I don't think it, it was not sent EMS, like it was just sent parcel, whatever. Anyway, it made its way to Germany, December 9th, and there it sat forever. <laughs> well, forever. Um, she did end up putting in, <clears throat> you know, a case with the post office, and they told her it could take, you know, she was very concerned and baffled and they said you know you had to wait like 60 days so um and nothing 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 even as far as like yesterday morning nothing and then all of a sudden I happened to look I can't remember if I got a notification I happened to look and <clears throat> The doll had jumped from G Germany all the way to having come through the Chicago sorting facility and to my local distribution center and was there yesterday morning. And here she is. I honestly, honestly, honestly had resigned myself to the idea that this doll was lost forever. Honestly, because I'm, you know, it happened, it just happened to me with my Benjamin. And it happened to me with my Anast my Anastasia kit. And then all of a sudden the doll is here. I've been joking that I finally put one of her coming home dresses and a hat I had bought specifically for her onto Amity. And Amity is, and now she's mad, so she's got to come <laughs> set us straight. The box is, it has not been opened. So she is here, safe and undisturbed. I suspect that she's fine. I'm gonna get, get her out. Hi, Jackie. Jackie's been waiting patiently for me to get the scissors and the camera stand and our new baby nest that came together because you know how much he loves the babies. Now that bed's not for you yet, honey. Not right now. So we're going to open up her blanket that came with her. Um, and then we'll open her up. So she came, we won't unwrap it just yet, but she came with this uh, pretty teal blanket, plush blanket. She came with this hairbrush and comb set. Are you disappointed that there's no tissue paper, Jack? And inside this little bag, we have her COA and we have a diaper. Size small, it says, size S. Junie's diaper. Um, I don't think. I don't know that this is a COA actually. Let me look at this real quick. These are just photographs, so I do not see a COA. So we'll have to find out about that. All right. She's a big girl, kind of a big girl. I do want to make sure that she sends me the COA because this is a not limited edition kit. And the bubble wrap, honey? He's not interested. Cute blanket. All right, can you see her feet and everything? Because her shoes are really cute. Oh yeah, and then she also came with this bottle. Yeah, you can see everything. Her outfit. She's got these really cute, look at the bottoms of the shoes. 
and it's um, Papulin, size 17. And she's got on this outfit that she had on in her photos. There's another outfit that was on her in her photos that I was hoping came with her. I don't think that it did, but that's okay. There's her hands. <laughs> She's like blocking the light. She's been inside of a box in the dark for th almost three months. Oh, as soon as you move this, you're gonna see her face. She's textured, varnished really well and freezing. Uh, we're just gonna peek her out. Look at her beautiful face. Who's that, Jackie? A new baby, another baby? Is your mama nuts? Oh, she's so pretty. <laughs> now, the shock of hair that's under here is like a statement piece. <clears throat> you recognize her? It's Maggie by Natalie Blick, minus her CLA. Um, it's Maggie by Natalie Blick. Oh my goodness, look at this cute, cute outfit. And she was painted, um, so, Her name is um, Anna, I believe Anna something. Um, Doll Children is her, Anna Aramina. Doll Children is her, um, her Instagram name. November 2021. And look at her hair. So I am most definitely going to have to pause and get her hair fixed before we do that reveal because I'm sure underneath here, oh, she's so pretty. She's so pretty. Chew, excuse me. Chew. Oh, she's so pretty. I don't even want to take this coat off of her, but that's okay, I can put it back on. Let's check out her painting. Jackie, why don't we change the camera so we can sit her up since she's not a baby. Oh, this bent arm is a little, a little tough to take the coat off of. <laughs> sure, it's probably gonna look weird with the um, camera being in a landscape mode. Can I zoom out? Oh yeah, I can. And you already have a name and have had a name for a long time, girl. I can't believe you made it. This coat is really cute. Fox and bunny, 68 centimeters. Let's see her face. Look at all those freckles. Well, should we see, should we try the hair? Should we see what's under here? To see how it how it traveled. Oh, it's braided. Look at the braids. Hi, pretty girl. What do you think? Should we tell everybody your name? Where's that brush? <clears throat> That was my dishwasher soap dispenser opening up. Obviously we'll need a little bit of water here. Oh, 
Oh, she's so cute. She is so cute. So this girl's name, um, can we get her to sit? You gonna see her, Jack? <clears throat> this girl's name is Punky Pipolata. She has some sass to her. I couldn't decide between Pippi and Punky. Obviously, she looks a lot more like a Pippi Longstocking, but I really love the name Punky, and that's like her attitude that I saw. So, um, Tracy, my friend Tracy, um, had said something about Pippolata and reminded me that that was Pippi Longstocking's, like the full name for Pippi Longstocking. And I was like, ah, oh, Punky Pippolata, perfect. I'll have to smooth down her hair, but oh my goodness, is she the cutest. She is really pretty. Her painting's really nice, too. Let's see. I don't really feel like getting her all undressed right now, so maybe you'll be able to see. I love when you get a larger baby and they still have mottling and blushing. Look at that elbow. Look at that little elbow. And her little hand here. Hello. <laughs> I love her. Her eye her eyebrows. Her little eyebrows. And her nice full eyelashes. And then she's got these gorgeous blue eyes. Alright, so I think we're gonna pause and maybe get situated. I'm gonna bring Amity out. I wanna see them together next to each other. So we're gonna do that and then we'll be back. All right, here they are together. <clears throat> so Amity is the Taylor sculpt by um, Gudrun Legler. And of course, Punky is the Maggie sculpt by Natalie Blick. And the back of her neck does have, you know, the. The, um, the sculpt name and the sculptor initials, you know, she's an, she you know, is an authentic kit, but not having the COA definitely bugs me until I get that in my hands. But anyway, um, so I would say that um, Amity is a little bit bigger. So this hat <laughs> I picked out for this girl and this dress I picked out for this girl this one um and I was like well winter's coming to a close soon hello Jack hi babe winter's coming to a close soon so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on Amity and it was so cute and I did this photo shoot with her and she's still got the hat on um and she's got this little fuzzy Easter coat and then she showed up so I'm, I'm thinking she was upset so um, I love her hair in the braids. I also love her hair in ponytails. And so these are my two big girls together. So cute. So eventually, because we did get some other outfits for this girl, eventually, there we go. I had a box lid covering the window. Um, we will get her changed. And when I do that, I'll be sure to film it so that we can check out her painting on her limbs and everything like that. But. She's really beautiful. Her hair is rooted very nicely. It is a, a very shocking reddish orange color, which is definitely what drew me to her. I mean, with the freckles, and that's why she's got her name. So, do you love Amity? Hi, Jackie. So, um, <laughs> that's the two girls for today. And uh, that's all I'm going to film for right now anyway, because I really don't have anything else to say. I'll keep you posted on the COA situation for sure. For sure. Um, and other than that, I hope everybody's having a good start to the weekend so far. Uh, I know that we are. We do love our weekends. We're sending out lots of love to you guys. And um, once again, very happy to finally have this girl home. <clears throat> Bye for now.